In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a balloon ball out of three 260 balloons. Let's get three balloons together and let's get started. To make the ball balloon, you're going to need to inflate three 260 balloons and you're going to inflate them almost all the way to the end. This is one of those rare balloon animals that uh, you inflate the balloon almost all the way. So um, for purposes of helping make this clear, because this tends to be rather confusing, I'm going to call orange number one, I'm going to call yellow number two, and green will be number three, and hopefully that will help you decipher how these balloons go together. So let's start with our first balloon, which I've designated the orange balloon. Take your first balloon, tie the nozzle to the uninflated end. There's that little bit of uninflated end that you've left. With this balloon, you find the center point, and then you collapse it and form a figure eight. And that's balloon number one. Balloon number two, same thing as you did with balloon number one. Tie the uninflated end to the nozzle. Find the center point and collapse it. Twist. And you form a figure eight or bow tie. Balloon number three is actually quite similar. You're going to tie the uninflated end to the nozzle. And you leave this as it is. Let's start putting the balloons together into a ball. You have two bow ties made out of 260 balloons. You're going to collapse them in half. And since we called orange number one, we're going to insert orange into the second balloon, the yellow. Something worth noting is that the seam for the orange balloon is actually underneath right here. Right here inside behind this yellow balloon. You could have the seam out here. It really doesn't affect the sculpture that much, but just aesthetically, I think the seam looks a lot better when it's hidden under the other balloon as opposed to having the nozzle and uninflated knot hanging out out on the side. Now remember that orange is our first balloon because that's what will help you in this next step. Let's get our third balloon. One thing I don't think I showed you earlier is that I actually twisted this so it's in two different segments for our third balloon. Now what you're going to do is remember what your first balloon was, which was orange in this case, and you're gonna feed the end of your third balloon through the loops right here formed by the first balloon. Let's do that. Same with the other side, through here. And you end up with something like this. It's going to be a little tight and you may not feel like it's going to fit, but just work it so you can feed this third balloon through the first balloon here and you can see how the ball is forming. Connect it right here to the joint. Make some adjustments. As you can imagine, this balloon ball is a big hit at parties. Uh, the kids will love it. 
Uh, you've probably seen kids batting balloons around, and when you were a kid, you may have batted a balloon around. This one has a little more heft than, say, a round balloon that's just been inflated. And I've seen kids play games with this. Just a warning, if you're outside, there's grass, there's pavement. Uh, when this thing hits the ground, it's, it's going to pop in short order if kids are kicking it around. But for indoor use, it should last a while. But it really is a lot of fun. It's colorful, depending on the colors you make it with. If you have a team that you're supporting, you can make the ball out of uh, the team colors, uh, that type of thing. So there's a lot of flexibility with this. So anyway, here you have a balloon ball. Were you successful at making your balloon ball? I hope so. Please give us a like and please subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.